no, 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 no. Biafras will be serious agitating for Biafra. Let me tell you, Biafra will must fight before 2027. I don't see Biafra last in 2027. No, I'm Jumba. Biafra will come. 2027. Are you telling me that now the car will be there? 2027. Now the car is coming out. Biafra is not going to stay until 2027. What is going on? Even Nigeria, if you ask 2027. How many of you will be cooking on slippers? How many of you will be buying chairs? How many of you will be eating? Three corner. Twenty to seven. You are talking about tomorrow. You are never be tired of today. Twenty to seven. Africa. Twenty to seven. Why are you hoping for twenty to seven? Are you tired of today? Huh? No border in the south. No. All the borders in the north. Open. Because of northern oligarchy. The way things are running in Nigeria is bad. Our constitution is not working. Listen and listen good. Biafras will never, never work with the big people to sell. They be drilled. Instead of chasing what belong to him, he started chasing flies. They be the one that imagine in Abuja. They be the one that imagine in Lagos. He said, having the infantry to tell us it's going to run. Comes 2027. Okay? If you like, he can run and run and run and run into Sabisa Forest. We are not going to follow him to run for presidency. I listen, listen to okay, him. Okay. He's going to run on his own. And uh, in actual sense, I want to abandon figurative language here. In actual sense, the Indians we are so resilient to make sure that before 2027, the Afghan nation must pay. So okay. we are not interested in this. This line Nandikani is not out yet. You believe that it's called tribalism. Uh, yes, uh, it's a hate. It's because of hate. Hate against leaders. It's because of division, over marginalization, and slavery against Iboma. Iboma in Nigeria, if not too hardworking, would have reduced to housemates and house boys in Nigeria. If not for too much industriousness, if not the viewers are bent on this commercial commerce and industry, people now would have been reduced to a bucket that are selling carrots and the opoto. You know we are not about that. That's sugar cane. That's what people now would have reduced to today in Nigeria. They were so resilient, working hard. No one told that government is not for us. No one told that politicking, politics in Nigeria is for us, Afro and Yoruba. That's why Ibo man just fallen back and become champion in commerce and industry. And that's we are all self-made. We are not looking beyond industry and commerce today in Nigeria. And they are still coming to challenge us where we are doing our various enterprising business to disrupt it. Do you know what is going to result? Emancipation of Biafra. Are you listening to me? No, the camera is in there. They are jealous. They don't want Biafra to come. They don't want Ibo man to rule. What else do they want? Oga, okay? serious confrontation. I'm telling you that Ibo man has gone further than Nigeria. And I believe in that. No, that's me. If you see the weight, heavyweight Ibo's in America, Oga, okay, you will leave your house and run. See, actual speech louder than what? Noise. Voice. We are not noise makers. It is coming. And it has come. Come what may, Nambikano must come out of that nonsense facilities where they are keeping him for about six months now. He must come out there. He must come out from that place. Because if he dies, Nigeria dies faster than death. That's what I mean. The Igbo leaders are not making it uh, easy for the uh, agitation. The agitation, the reason why Igbo leaders are not joining is because most of them are benefiting from the current administration. The previous administration of Buhari fed many political Igbos. That's why you see all these politicians and their families busy doing their political business while leaving Biafra alone. Talana now, as they are doing, we are the Biafras. Everybody must not be in politics. Everybody must not be in unity with Nigeria. He's not even not be what? That's greedy. Should not be what? 
uh, 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 question. So, politics, money, 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 money. No. There are many boys that are looking for dignity, integrity, pedigree. What a man is all about. What makes a man is dignity, integrity, respect. Are you listening to me? That is the motto of the University of Nigeria. So, uh, the symbol of UNN is to restore the dignity of man. Go there, the relative bodily on the gate. Man must have dignity as a man. That is who he was. Ah, okay, we're not here to the thief government money. I know they work in government house every day. I go go stay at home, they go wait for salary. And every day I go go steal money. What belong to people? People that's payers money. I will be using by to steal it. It is a curse. Nemesis, I want everybody that eat public funds, people's money. The pensioners are dying. You are siphoning their money. They are dying, lining up. That is a curse. And remember that for seven man do does. The repercussion lives with them or after them. The repercussion will come. Just like so who I am is a manibo man. And you work hard. They that are able to work, leaders, oligarchs, they are what? working with foreign oligarchs too. In the north, they are errand boy, boys to their masters, foreign masters. But the real boys are mean transacting for their emancipation. And that is what we represent. We, the younger generation, most of those people that were born during that struggle, the kind of blood they used to breed us. It's not normal blood. So that's why we are the American was born during the war for them. American is 57. Born 1967. Do your sub your heart to get it. You will find out I'm I'm right. So the kind of blood that's running in the American is different from those of Ohanezes. As soon filled mouth, Ohanezes. They are too mouthy, talking nonsense about their first station. Sabahama is doing the right thing for consulting Canada. Canada is an advanced country. If you accepted Biafra, it means automatically Biafra is a member of NATO. Ask me why. The headquarters of NATO is in Canada. The biggest office, office in the world. Automatically, we are being we are the member nations of NATO. Automatically. And there are some talking to you now. Canadian government is considering it. No matter how comfort me or how they do Onese can never ever manipulate Finland to hurt Igbo man. Now Nigeria manipulates the village to hurt the Igbos. Nothing can ever minimize the kind of love Canada as a country has for Biafra. And that you can't bribe the West. They know they collect bribe. Finland, the Finnish or the Finn, they don't collect bribe. The Israeli government automatically. Nigeria can never bribe Israel. After all, Israeli embassy, for how many years is in Enugu? Before uh, Ibrahim Babangida restored her in Israel, and their branch is now in Abuja of their embassy office. So, everything about Biafra is blessing from God. What is keeping now the Canada is hate, hatred, hatred from his what? Greedy, over greedy kinsmen in Igbo land. Hatred of his what? His adversaries in the Sahel countries, Fulani, Hausa, the North. They are the anti semitics They hate people. What is keeping that young man there is hate. No nationality in Nigeria likes Igbo man. No, no. no. Hey! You want me to do some jump? Yeah. Jesus is Lord. People you are paying house rent. People you are paying loma. People you are developing the economy. You contribute seventy five percent of Southwest economy. Power, no love for you. Okay. If you mention that one again, I will do some jump from here. Okay. Okay. Outside that are here in Lagos, I hope your time is not finished. No, no. The outside youths that are here, are they paying for light? They are sleeping on the garage. They are sleeping on top of the gutter. Some of them are sleeping inside the marijuana, a fat on the road, on top of their bikes. Their bikes are their gravel phone. The vital phone, Ugo phone, is on top of their bar, bikes. That's where they lay their head, their heads, and sleep off. You don't want to press from the place. Uh, mansion, which flat, flat here. Uh, what, 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 what are you telling me? 
Okay, 95.999% of Lagos economy is Igbo man. If you doubt me, go and visit Fertilize his office. He will educate you more. Thank you very much. Listen, we can never use our hands. A big different man like me. It's not a single. A big can never use Labour Party against my what? Craving. Love. Love. Commitment for Biafra emancipation. See, it is only beautiful Biafra. People that don't have Young man, yes. People that are, people that are, people that are very, you know, unstable. Which I know, of course, they are not. But the one that will be, will use uh, Labour Party to be seen. Not somebody like me, because I was saying to myself, we chill a bit We said, okay, let you go and do. Not that we are forgotten the Afro. The thing that we allow will be, at least Nigeria for us will be good. While we are doing our normal, thank you. Then we will send the family to Nigeria for the first time. Then we will be doing our education business. Now, to do this much, how from Obi? Today, you see how Nigeria is. Nigeria is worse than Sahara Bay. Every day, lies. Rubbish propaganda. They come up with many propaganda. Tomorrow you see another propaganda. Wherever they will use the national tactics or the national what? The national tactics to put a lot of people's attention. People will start looking at that test. While they are busy, what? Packing money. Packing money. The money will be going into their private accounts. Accounts. Tomorrow, you will see another issue. Every Nigerian will focus on that issue. Forgetting the other sense to war. And that all these diversionary tactics mass. It made the current administration. It has finished rubbish to the administration. Now, nobody is talking about a new file. It is a Yaya Bello. We are chasing Yaya Bello. The Morocco. Everybody has abandoned bandits and the Boko Haram chase. We are not chasing Yaya Bello. And we heard you see. The other day, it was a new file. And the Naira crossed. And because of that, I mean, they was here. They're taking me in. They're putting me in. The day, all attention, all load has led to Kogi State, the office of the former governor of Kogi State, Yaya Bele. Although this is not a good administration, this administration has begun begun to tell the whole world, look, I'm an illegal administration. I come through the window, I did not come from the front gate, through the door. That is what the current administration is telling the whole world. Because the people who have been here of a place of Nigeria, they can never handle it well. They can never. They can never do well. They are not sincere. They can never be telling Nigerians the truth. That's why everywhere is Jagadaga, Jagadasti. Jagadasti can be shot on today. The amount of rest is 60,000. Tomorrow, so 5,000. Next tomorrow, 55. Listen and listen to next week, 48,000. What kind of government is that? Okay. And they are all laughing. Somebody like Kayobe, follow me, Abi, the former Kiki State Governor, will be laughing, follow me, smiling and laughing, as if all is well with the Kiki people. Is a lie. Before Tinubu was sworn in as a president, Yayabala was using his allergic cap, a small boy, allergic cap for 70 years old, laughing, laughing all over his face, as if all, as if all is what we could do. Go and ask the Kogi civil servants, government workers, if the Ayabelo has paid them. He was laughing. He was happy. They call the co guys. The co guys are suffering. I listen to me. So, if you look at the APC regime, it's not the regime whereby we can just, you know, cross our hands, celebrating, or looking at them. Okay? There's much, much illegalities.